Buckle your seatbelt. For the first time, a United States senator has made the call to the CDC, has made the call to cruise lines that cruising should be halted. That's right. For the first time, a U.S. senator has said, let's stop cruising right now. Let's talk about these details as they are just released right now on Island Time. A big Wednesday hello to all you Islanders. I know it's late in the day. It's been a busy day for me. I know it probably has been for you as well, but I could not let this day slip away without spending some time in the islands with all of you. The news continues in the cruise industry. It really is unbelievable to see the unfoldings day after day. And don't get me wrong. Don't get us wrong as a community. We think cruising should still continue. So when we bring you stories like we are today, we are not pushing that agenda. We're just sharing cruise news because that is what we do. And we want you to be a part of Island Time. If you're not an Islander yet, you have not subscribed, please subscribe and become part of this community. Let's talk about this news, Islanders, because this is a first for the first time since March of 2020. A United States Senator has called for cruising to be halted. I will show you the tweet right here. This is coming from Senator Richard Blumenthal. Our warnings have proved sadly precedent and continuously compelling time for CDC and cruise lines to protect consumers and again pause docking their ships. Cruises are repeating recent history as petri dishes of COVID infection. That is Senator Richard Blumenthal making the case, making the point to dock the ships in cruising right now. Now, let me point this out that right now, Senator Blumenthal is the only one who has put out any type of communication like this, but you know there are others to follow. I'll also share with you that this tweet is in response to the CDC updating their website and updating the data which shows how many ships are being investigated right now. They updated that data yesterday and there are almost 90 cruise ships selling from U.S. waters that are being investigated right now due to COVID-19 infections and outbreaks on ships. So that is the reasoning behind it. And you probably remember the coloring system. We've gone over this before. Uh, the, the CDC gives each ship a different color. It could be green that there are no active cases. There's no symptoms of COVID-19 aboard a cruise ship for seven days. It's green. It could be orange, which means that there are low cases on, on, on cruise ships. It mostly means that it's crew only cruise ships, that those ships are not, paying, are not selling with paying passengers. And then there's of course yellow, which most of the ships uh, out there right now that are selling the waters are yellow, which means that the CDC has opened an investigation. We'll talk about what that means and Senator Blumenthal and others need to remember exactly what that means the investigation it sounds so bad we're going to talk about it here in just a little bit but then of course there's the red status we have not used red status yet we had a, a video a couple of days ago you should look it up it's it's really good uh, information that that really the CDC could use going forward the red status of a cruise ship, which means, hey, you turn around, get back to the port, enact your port agreement that you've agreed uh, upon with the port, and get everyone off the ship. So we're going to see what happens here. But this latest data from the CDC shows Royal Caribbean, Norwegian, Carnival, every Disney ship, all four Disney ships, are now under investigation, almost 90 ships total. 32 Carnival Corporation ships were yellow status uh, as of this morning. Norwegian had 10 ships. Royal Caribbean had 25 ships in yellow status. And that looks bad. It says CDC has opened an investigation. It sounds bad. Sounds like somebody's in trouble. What's going on? Senator Blumenthal and all of us need to remember what these investigations are. What are they Exactly, okay. What the uh, investigation is when, when cruise ships have hit a certain criteria, it's usually over a tenth of a percent of COVID cases, uh, you're in orange status. Once you get higher to that 1% threshold, 
It turns yellow. You are a yellow ship and an investigation is opened by the CDC. There's a whole procedure that has to take place from paperwork and questionnaires from the CDC to cruise ships. And what they want to know is a documentation of what happened. When was your first COVID positive case and who was that person? How quickly did you find that person and isolate them? Did you have to move them from their current room to a room that you have set aside on a ship, which usually cruise lines do. It's usually right now on deck number one. How did you conduct the contact tracing? Did you use bracelets? Did you use their sign and cell card to see where they've been? Did you use video? And how fast, how quickly did you reach those who they were around and test them? And of those people that you tested, how many of them tested positive? Did you need to quarantine any of them? You may have to repeat that cycle if there are some positives. Then you would have to contact their close contacts. So it could go on and on. But the, at the end of the day, the CDC is investigating those things that we talked about. They're trying to identify and gather the information. And they're really trying to see if their cruise line was able to contain the spread it could have been five cases, a dozen cases. We've seen the last 10 or 14 days, 50 or 60 cases. But how did you contain it? How did you stop it? Did your protocols, the CDC protocols, cruise line protocols, did the protocols work? And what we have seen so far is yes, these ships contain it and it may be contained at 50, 60 cases. They get back to port and everything is okay. Let me remind you, uh, of some statistics here, okay? If a cruise ship has 3,500 passengers and there are 12 cases, a dozen cases on the ship, you're still looking at a very low percent of people, below, well below 1%, 12 cases for 3,500 people. And that is below what you're seeing in major cities. So Mr. Blumenthal and all those who are jumping on this uh, bandwagon, the media, if you've kept up with the media, slow down a little bit okay we have some things to tell you um right now mr blumenthal what about airports i just got off a cruise ship five days ago i flew uh to houston texas and i flew back home and the airports right now are more crowded than my cruise ship was mr blumenthal my airplane was at 100 percent capacity every single seat was filled Mr. Blumenthal. My cruise ship was not. I wore a mask uh, on my cruise ship indoors. I was around 95, at least 95% vaccinated people, and I was around people, my couple thousand people, who tested negative before I was around them. I cannot say the same about the airport and my airplane. I'll also point out college football games, NFL football games. I'm sure that the contraction of COVID-19 is greater than the example I gave you of 12 cases on a 3,500 person ship being at 0 .003. So let's think about it really quick. Before we start calling an end to cruising, before we start saying that cruising should be no more for right now, let's think about what's going on in other facets of the travel industry and look at that too before we look at cruise ships. I know I'm on my soapbox, but this means a lot to me. There is a lot going on right now in the cruise industry, but we have to remember that cruise lines are working with the CDC and they are, they are changing protocols that need to be changed. They are enhancing protocols that need to be enhanced. Carnival Cruise Line and Norwegian of Cru Cruise Line are starting to cancel some events. They're starting to cancel the main shows that all of us know and love, the Broadway shows. They're canceling even places and venues like the piano bar and live music. Places where a high number of passengers start to gather together and set for an extended amount of time. They're starting to cancel some of those things. Is that the thing to do? Maybe so, it might be. We have to remember that millions, literally millions of people have cruised safely since the cruise restart in July. On Monday, this past Monday, MSC Cruise, uh, Cruises, a representative from MSC, told the media released uh, this, that the cruise line's health protocols had accommodated almost one million passengers. These protocols contained a COVID-19 vaccination requirement 
as late as November. Carnival Cruise Line, their numbers in Royal Caribbean are getting up there to about the same. Millions of people have cruised under protocols and they can continue to do so safely and safer than other means of transportation. This is an interesting dynamic. Uh, it's the first time that we've seen a senator come out and say in cruising, there will be a movement. There will. There will be a movement. We'll see where it goes. It's going to be interesting to see what the CDC does. At the end of the day, remember, we are two weeks away from the CDC ending the conditional sell order, which has been in place since, since late 2020. And them saying, cruise lines, you can now self-regulate yourself. We trust you to enact protocols that are going to work. That's what they said they would do. We're not sure if it's going to happen. They may backstep on that one. We're going to see. Of course, we'll keep you updated right here in Island Time. That's why it's so important that you subscribe, ring the bell, get notifications when we upload new content, which is every day right now, if not twice a day. We're thankful that you're with us, and we absolutely love you in this cruise community. We will talk to you tomorrow right here on Island Time.